Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Holy crap. This is one of my most requested videos and no matter how many damn times a girl tells you that I'm testing it out, I still get so many comments on this. So today we are going to be doing my in-depth review on the Kylie skincare line. So I have all the products right here. I have the foaming face wash. I have the toner. I also have the walnut face scrub that everybody <laughs> was scaring me with. We have the vitamin C serum and also the moisturizer and the eye cream. So we have all the products here. I have the complete line. I have been testing it out for a full two weeks. It actually is two weeks on the dot today. So I figured I would just go through every product and kind of explain a little bit more on how I used it, how it affected my skin, if I think it's worth it, if I don't think it's worth it. And we're gonna go through everything. We're gonna look at the prices. Really gonna go in depth here. I want to give you guys as honest and as in-depth of a review as I possibly can. Yeah, so I'm just gonna shut up and let's get right into it. I don't have any makeup on my face. If my forehead looks a little red, it's because I just got a little bit of micro needling done to help with my hair actually. So stay tuned for that because I feel like that's gonna save my hair and stop the annoying ass comments. So looking at this skincare as a whole, I have to say that I think it would be a good skincare for more for beginners. And the reason I say that is because it's not a complete skincare line. You're missing a sunscreen, you're missing some face masks, you're missing just more treatments, you know what I mean? Like more like hydrating treatments. For me, I'm someone who has very, very intensely dry skin. I don't know if Kylie has more oily skin. Like I do feel like this line in general is more geared towards like teens slash like people with more oily to normal skin. For me, I always felt like my skin was a little bit too dry after always like using the skincare and I used it day and night. Like I really tested this puppy out. I do have very tough skin. I'm not allergic to a lot of products. I'm very, very lucky to have the skin that I do. That being said, if you are a sensitive skin person, I cannot attest to you because I don't have sensitive skin. I took some notes down while I was doing the skincare. Some things that I felt like, you know, could be helpful. I have a whole list here. And also I watched a YouTube video. This girl named Dr. Dre, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Her video on the Kylie skincare was very, very informative because she speaks to ingredients a lot. I will link her video down below. And actually here for the tea was one of the people who recommended me to watch this video. So shout out to my girl, Sam, because we can all use a little bit more knowledge on ingredients you know um my cousin Sasha is a big ingredients hoe uh, I mean hoe in a very endearing way of course but <laughs> she has actually opened my eyes to a lot more ingredients and just things like that so I'm gonna touch base on that we're gonna touch base on everything I'm sorry that this is such a long intro I just wanted to get out everything before I dive on in all right so first I want to take a look at the price points let's pull up the website so the whole kit in general if you wanted to buy the set is $125. Each product individually, like the foaming face wash is $24. The walnut scrub is $22. The milk toner is $22. The vitamin C is $28. The face moisturizer is $24. The eye cream is $20. I did not try the makeup wipes. That is the only thing I haven't tried. I'm very loyal to my Costco brand and to my Neutrogenes. So looking at the price as a whole, I don't think that the price is that bad. I consider myself a skincare snob, okay? I use products that are in the hundreds. Like, Drunk Elephant is priced very luxury. Tatcha is priced very lug luxury. I would even say that Ulla Hendrickson and Murad is on the higher end scale. So, looking at these prices compared to prices that I use with luxury brands, I don't think that the price point is bad. I do think that it is reasonable, especially in skincare, because shit, skincare is expensive, you guys. It's expensive. 
Ingredients are expensive. I'm also going to insert a photo, I'm gonna have my editor do it, a photo of my skin before I tried Kylie skin and currently what it looks like. But let's go through everything. So the first product I wanna talk about is the Foaming Face Wash and this one was actually one of the only products that I liked. I liked that it was foaming because I did like that sense of feeling like my face is clean. You know, some people really like that foaming aspect rather than like, I don't know, a makeup melter or a serum or anything along those lines. I really did like the foaming face wash the most out of everything here. Again, I have very rough and tough skin. None of these products gave me a reaction but I don't know how it would be for sensitive skin. And I'm saying that very, very, very carefully because there are fragrance in a lot of these products. And fragrance can make people who have sensitive skin break out like crazy. Now this face wash does have fragrance in it. However, since you are washing it off the face, I don't feel like it's bad. Like the fragrance isn't gonna linger, isn't gonna stay on the face. You're essentially washing it off. Now, the one thing that Kylie is missing in this collection is that new double cleanse that everybody likes to do, which is usually like some type of a makeup meltery serum and then a foaming face wash. There is no double cleanse in this line. I really like to double cleanse because that's the only way for me. Listen, I wear a shit ton of makeup and that's the only way for me that I feel like my makeup really comes off is if I double cleanse. I did have to use this puppy two times to get my makeup off fully and that kind of can work as a double cleanse. For me, I do really appreciate a makeup melter and hopefully down the line she will add to that collection, add that to her collection. But out of all of the products here, I think that this one I will continue to use. So I wanted to throw that in. It was very gentle on the face. It says it's claiming that it's a gentle face wash. It removes dirt and oil. That is all true. I mean, when I was using it, it didn't feel really rough or anything that major on the skin. Again, there is fragrance in this. So if you are sensitive to fragrance and allergic to fragrance, I don't recommend this for you. However, the fragrance isn't that bad in this because you are washing it off. Moving on to the walnut scrub. One of the biggest problems that I think our generation, like millennials, all of us in our mid 20s, early 20s, late 20s, even early 30s, I think a lot of us have a problem with over exfoliating. The walnut scrub definitely is not going to help, unfortunately, with that problem. Walnut scrubs, I actually researched online and those little blue micro beads are actually better than walnut scrubs, like nut scrubs, because nuts can be a little bit too rough on the skin. They can actually create little micro tears. I only exfoliated my face once with this puppy, and that was more than enough for me. I used it one other time on my nose, just in this area, because I do have really dry skin. Even right now, my skin is, my nose is always so dry. It was useful, on my little nose area, but I think that if you guys are looking for a good exfoliator, I would highly recommend a rice exfoliator, and that's something that I really hope that Kylie adds to her line is a better slash gentler exfoliator because this can really cause damage to the skin. Especially, like I said, we all have a problem with over exfoliating. I once over exfoliated so bad in this area of my face that I actually gave myself texture that I didn't have. I'm really afraid to recommend this to you guys because because of all of the research that I've done on it. So I'm gonna say, leave this out of your skincare routine. Don't purchase it. If you're looking for an exfoliator, I highly recommend a rice exfoliator. I know that Murad has one, Tatcha has one, but I would say, leave the walnut scrub for like a rainy day or like some, like a last, 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 last resort. Because even when I was using it, I was so nervous. The smell of it is actually pretty good though. I do appreciate, I got some of it up my nose when I was just smelling it. <laughs> I do appreciate the scents because it does smell really nice. But again, that fragrance is in there, so you know. Moving on to the Vanilla Milk Toner. I think out of everything here, this product smells the best. 
Like, smells incredible. So, with this puppy, it is alcohol-free, which is good. We don't want any alcohol on the face because alcohol can lead to that kind of, like, feeling of, like, tightness on your skin. Like, that, like... Like, you know what I'm talking about? And also, you guys, I'm sorry if I don't seem like my normal bubbly self here. I'm just really trying to do an in-depth, honest, careful review for you guys, you know? So with the toner, unfortunately, this toner does have fragrance. That is the one thing that I would have to recommend for Kylie skincare in general. I don't even know if they care, in my opinion. But I do think that less is more with the fragrance. I know like we all are addicted to things smelling really great. Fragrance overall isn't gonna be good for a lot of people out there. You're only really catering to people that have tough skin like myself. So the toner, I did like, I did use. However, a toner isn't necessary for everyday things because a toner can also be rough on your skin if you're not using it correctly, if you're using too much. And also the fact that this has fragrance and oils in it, it can lead to down the road having very sensitive skin and very like irritated skin. So for me, I'm someone that doesn't really use a toner a lot because toners are really for like, so Karen, I love Sarai, she explained it to me perfectly with toners once. I was like, what do you do with a toner? Like, what is the purpose of a toner? And the toner is more for, let's say like you're out in the city and you're in a place where there's a lot of smog, a lot of pollution. This will help to get rid of that excess junk. Or let's say, you know, ladies and gents, it's one of those nights where you forget to take your makeup off and you sleep with your makeup on. This kind of does a great job of, a toner does a great job of removing all of the junk on your face. So for me, I don't use toners a lot because I do think that they can be very harsh on the skin. When I used this Kylie product, I didn't have a problem with it. However, I don't really see myself using it again in the future just because of the fact that there is a fragrance and oils in it that can lead to, you know, more irritation. And as I'm getting older with my skin, I mean, I'm only 26, I act like I'm freaking 70. But as I'm getting older, I really am more cautious about the things that I put on my skin. You know, your skin is the largest organ that your body has and you have to take care of it. You just, you have to, so. Yeah, so, so far out of the products I showed y'all, I really only care for the foaming face wash. I really liked it and it was very gentle. Moving on next, we have the Vitamin C Serum. Serums are really good to have in a skincare line because serums can really heal and replenish the skin. I have some notes I wrote down about it. The problem with vitamin C serums is that they can tend to be a bit unstable. A lot of experts that I know won't even really use vitamin C serums because vitamin C is What's the word I'm looking for? It's like a highly concentrate, like it's a high concentrate of vitamin C. Vitamin C can cause irritation to a lot of people's skin. I have once used a vitamin C cream or some bullshit that my mom had laying around on her vanity while I was growing up and I used it and my whole skin broke out in this red, rashy, hivy situation. This serum, I didn't have a problem with. I didn't have any reactions with it. I didn't think it was horrible. There's definitely a lot worse serums that I've used and this is what it looks like. So it's a very like gelatinous kind of feeling. It definitely does help make your skin soft. Vitamin C in general is very acidic-y. Ac is that a word? Acidic? So you have to think, like if you are someone with sensitive skin, I don't know if a vitamin C serum would be good for you. I liked how soft my skin felt after this and you definitely don't need a lot of it if you are using it. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful with vitamin C stuff in general. I don't really use a lot of vitamin C stuff because I'm always so afraid of that one reaction I had to whatever the hell was on my mom's vanity that one time. Moving on to the eye cream. Now, I think here that the eye cream is the star of the show. If there is gonna be one product that you're gonna get out of this whole entire skincare line, it's probably, for me, would be to recommend the eye cream. There's no fragrance in this. I wish she would have done no fragrance in like all of her products, but there is no fragrance in this, so this 
this is fragrance free so I think it would be good for sensitive skin and I think the ingredient list is pretty reasonable and even the dermatologist who went in on Kylie skincare Dr. Dre she even said that she felt like this was probably one of the best products to recommend in the line and I have to agree because I really do like it it's really been helping my under eye area and on my eyelids I do suffer from dry eyelids so this has been helping I think that this one right here is the star of the show like if there is one product that you want to get it would probably be the Kylie eye cream it's really the only product that I feel comfortable using and comfortable recommending to you guys I love the applicator this is the applicator so you kind of just rub it on it's not messy at all like you do what you got to do I'll even apply it right now to show you guys because I haven't put it on today oh shit that's too much you definitely do not need that much you guys sorry and then you could just like bring it up it also helps with like crow's feet and all that other crap just keeping everything hydrated and I like the color of it <laughs> So I kind of wish that this was a face cream. Like, I might even use this eye cream all over my face because it's just that nice. Like, it really has my skin feeling very soft. I highly recommend the eye cream. The last thing I have to go over with you guys is the face moisturizer. Now, this is a little bit tricky because when you're looking at the ingredients, it doesn't say that there's fragrance in it. However, there is like orange peel and orange peel is considered a fragrance fragrance in the skincare realm. So with this moisturizer, I do feel like it was okay. However, since I am so dry, I need a way more rich, supple moisturizer. Like I use a lot of the time the Murad nutrient charged water gel cream or I'll use the water cream from Tatcha or you know there's a lot of creams even this cream right here from Tarte which is the first step prep that I always use very rich and su like supple ingredient like you just feel like Ah, like I don't know and I didn't really get that feeling with this face moisturizer so I really do hope that later down the line she can incorporate more products for dry skins because I do feel like this is very targeted towards like pubescent like teen skin like you know what I mean like that oily skin that a lot of like teens go through I went through that when I was 16 Ooh, I was up freaking grease ball so overall for me the product that I would recommend the most is the eye cream and like I said earlier I most likely will use again the face wash and the vitamin C serum these were really the only products that I felt like were worth it I do feel like the skincare is very beginner friendly and I do feel like since it is Kylie it might get younger kids to maybe care about skincare a bit more like it could get people into a good skincare regimen however there are a lot of fragrance in these products and I can't say that I recommend them to people that have sensitive skin the only thing that I can recommend for sensitive skin is this eye cream and the face wash because the face wash you're going to be taking off anyway do you know what I mean like even though that there's fragrance on there you are rinsing it off so overall the products that I liked were the face wash and the eye cream maybe I'm like 50 50 on the serum I haven't seen too much of a difference yet with the serum but I do appreciate how soft it does leave my skin so yeah the products that I don't really recommend, absolutely don't recommend the Walnut Face Scrub. The toner I don't recommend because I think it could most likely be a bad combination for sensitive skin. And plus, I don't really use a toner, so I'm not going to recommend something that I barely even use in my fancy ass skincare routine, you know? And again, this moisturizer I just felt like wasn't enough for me. I really need a heavy, thick moisturizer because of how dry my skin is. So I really hope that this video was informative to you guys because I tried to make this as informative as I possibly freaking can. I want to stress again that this is very beginner slash entry level. This is not an extensive skincare by all means. I don't think that my skin really looks incredibly transformative, but I also think that the few products that I recommend to you guys aren't horrible. Like this eye cream is the star of the whole skincare line and the face wash I like. 
So that's really all I can recommend. I might even take back recommending this vitamin C serum because even though it makes my skin feel very soft, vitamin C is very unstable ingredient and it's very acidic-y, so you have to be careful. The only things I really feel comfortable recommending to you guys are the eye cream and the foaming face wash. I really hope that this was in depth for you guys. I hope that this was helpful. Again, I really, really, really stress that this is a beginner friendly skincare line. There is nothing really like transformative, if that makes sense. And no shade to Kylie, no shade to anyone. Like it is just what it is, you know what I mean? And hopefully down the line, I really hope that Kylie can remove a lot of the fragrance from the products and can add some more products for it to be a complete skincare line. Holy crap, you guys, I have chest pains after filming this video. <laughs> I feel like I've been gabbing for 30 minutes straight. All right, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you guys like what you see. I hope it was helpful and I love you guys so much. Oh, one thing I also wanted to recommend to you guys is you also don't really need to use a lot of products in a regular skincare routine. I know sometimes when I do my skincare Sundays, I use a lot of shit, but that's also because I do that full type of skincare routine every Sunday, like once a week. I don't do those like 17 step skincare things every night. I think it's really important to remember with skincare that less is more. So on a daily basis, all you really need to use is an eye cream, a cleanser, and a moisturizer. So just keep that in mind as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!